Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a hair mask tutorial because I really wanted to do it for you guys because I just thought it was going to be fun to make. So my hair, people say it's my mom, for instance, says it's long, but it actually really isn't. But I just wanted to do a hair mask and this is kind of like a DIY of a mayonnaise and olive oil hair mask. So enjoy. Starting off, we're gonna go into our ingredients. So I'm just using uh, olive oil, um, and then a bowl. It doesn't matter what size. I'm just going to put as much as I feel. Um, a spoon, and mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise, so this is going to be, I don't know why we have this big tub of it, but we do. Uh, I don't like mayonnaise, so this is gonna be fun. Ew. Uh, I have a hairbrush to make sure my hair is properly brushed. And I have a bag, you can use like a shower cap, but I've done an olive, just an olive oil hair mask before. And using a shower cap, I find it ruins the shower cap with the oil. So I'm just using a plastic bag, and then I will tie it at the end of my hair because I'm only gonna do it up to here. So, yes, let's get started. To start off, I don't want my clothing getting uh, all oily and I don't really want to change. So, I'm putting on a towel. This is a towel. I think my sister used this towel to dye her hair because it has some brown marks on it. And my sister dyed her hair dark brown when I dyed my hair. Um, so, I'm just going to take it, put it around my shoulders like that. And take a clip or a tie. Do I have a clip? I do have a clip. Surprise, you learn something new every day. Um, so wrapping it around, making sure it won't get on my clothing. Uh, and then taking a clip and pinning it down. And bring all your hair to the front, and we're gonna now make the mixture. Sorry about the angle, uh, but taking my uh, spoon and my mayonnaise, uh, mayonnaise, yeah, shows that I have mayonnaise. I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to take a spoonful, mix it a little bit, take a spoonful. of it and maybe and a half of a spoon so a spoon and a half because you don't want to use too much if your hair is really long I would to, like do like maybe two or two and a half ew 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 I don't like mayonnaise that is for sure where can I wet my head um so now we're doing put the lid back on the mayonnaise uh, now we're gonna go with the um, the olive oil and just wipe my finger off. Why not wipe it on the towel? Okay, taking the cap off, and I'm going to do a spoon. Spoonful of the stuff and then an extra half. So that's like probably around half, I don't know. I'm not very good at math. Put the cap back on this. It looks gross, but I swear it's healthy for your hair. Yeah, this one. Then you're just gonna mix it all together. So just mix it really well. Mayonnaise is really good for your hair. Also is olive oil. So this is why this is a good mixture to use. Mix it till it's nice and like creamy. Like this. Keep your spoon because that's what you're going to use to um, do your hair. Here comes the scary part where we put it in our hair. So be prepared. Your hands are going to get dirty. It's a little bit of a dirty work. Um, I'm going to do my bangs too. I don't know. 
I don't know how this is gonna go. I feel like I'm dyeing my hair or something. So I'm bringing, I'm splitting my hair from the back into sections and just try to collect most of it to the sides. Taking my mixture, which is now kind of like in a, a nice, uh, like kind of looks like kind of like a lotion. It smells <coughs> really bad. <coughs> oh God. Ah, no, my clip. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go fix the clip and then we will put this disgusting stuff in our yes, hair. This looks silly, but isn't that the point? Okay, so now we're gonna put this in our hair. Uh, we're gonna leave this in for 30 minutes uh, once it is all in. So taking some on a spoon, just grabbing my hair. Make sure your hair is brushed out. You are going to need to have a shower after this, so prepare yourself for a shower. Um, it just... <laughs> Ew. Okay, now we're going to need to use our hands and mix it all in. Ah! <laughs> oh, ew, this is so gross. Why did I do this? Why did I decide to do this? Focus it all on the ends. Make sure it is all, I don't care anymore, <laughs> uh, mixed in. Move spoon out of the way. <sighs> this is disgusting, but if we know this is gonna help our hair, we should do it for our hair. So I'm just gonna put this all in my hair, like that. So gross, it's actually feeling really silky at the bottom. Which surprises me a little bit. <sighs> now that this is all in our hair and it smells terrible, I'm just gonna bring this side over on this side. Make sure it's all in, scoop some more. I'm using like all of this, like, <sighs> I want my hair done good. I want to, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna yell at the lady that I watched the video of it. Okay, <laughs> so now that it's all pulled back in a ball in my hand, taking my bag, putting my hair in it, just like that, and then I'm gonna just tie it. And then if you have like a hair clip, you can just like clip it here or a hair tie. So I'm gonna go wait 20 minutes to wash this all off my hands and then we'll come back. So I'm just waiting here for 30 minutes. My timer set, <sighs> hair on my phone. And my hair, I put an elastic on it to hold it in place. And I'm just on my phone doing text messages. And so I'm just gonna wait for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go wash out of my hair. Timer is up and now I'm ready to go in the shower and wash this out. So yeah. So I just, when I was in the shower, I washed my hair with my shampoo spritz and I just put some a little bit of conditioner in my hair so it felt soft. Usually you'd use apple cider vinegar or lemon juice, but I totally forgot about the lemon juice and apple cider. So you could add that in if you would like to, but you don't need to. I've done it multiple times without the apple cider vinegar. Uh, I don't have apple cider vinegar, so I can't do it. But um, yeah, so this I just put my hair up in a head towel to keep the water from dripping on my neck and I just back in my clothes. And so now I'm going to dry my hair and you can see the finished result. This is the final product. My hair isn't completely dry, but it I dried most parts of it. So I actually think this did something. Like my hair feels soft and it, I find it looks like silkier maybe, I don't know. Sorry, it kind of looks really greasy. It's just because of, I didn't blow dry it yet, uh, like all the way. I only blow dry a couple pieces. Um, 
but I honestly like the results it gave me. I enjoy it, and I honestly think you guys should try this out. So, yeah, this is my DIY hair mask, um, and I thought it was, it showed a really good result. Um, probably a better one when my hair is completely dry and straightened or curled. But I really like it, and so hope you do too. If you did, leave this video a giant thumbs up and comment down in the comment section about if you have any of uh, like your own tips of like hair mask or hair uh, solution things. Because I would love to like. That's my dog. It scared me. It touched my leg. Okay, because I would. Because I would love to know. Subscribe if you haven't already. And join my beautiful beach. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, my Instagram, my Twitter, so right here is also in the description. So you go check that out. It's Chelsea Bug, by the way. And thanks for watching. Bye.